You know, we talk a lot about clocks and calendars. It's how we make sense of things. Yeah. Days, weeks, months, years. It's all very structured. It is. A constant sort of, like, background hum of time passing. Yeah. But then you come across these instances where people find these quirky, totally unique ways to mark time. I'm intrigued. Tell me more. So get this. I was reading something the other day, and it mentioned measuring the countdown to New Year's Eve. Not in days or shopping days, but in manicures. Okay. In manicures, like how many more times you can get your nails done before the new year? Exactly. What? Five or six manicures until the new year. It just struck me as so unexpected. Yes. Yeah. But it's also kind of brilliant when you think about it. Right. It yeah. speaks to that very human need to break down time into something more relatable, more personal. It's like, forget the calendar. I've got my own system. Precisely. We do this all the time, even if we don't realize it. Like, how many times have you heard someone say, just a few more sleeps until vacation? Or summers until graduation. All the time. I know I've definitely used that one. Yeah. It's like each of those events, those manicures or sleeps or summers, they become these little milestones. Absolutely. They become these charged units of anticipation. And I think that's what makes it so interesting. It's not just about marking time. It's about infusing it with meaning. It's almost like creating your own personal calendar, mm -hmm. one that resonates with your experiences and what you're looking forward to. So instead of just flipping through pages, you're engaging with time in a way that feels significant to you. Why do you think we do that? Yeah. Instead of just, you know, sticking to the standard calendar. Well, think about it. A standard calendar, it's objective. It's the same for everyone, right? Yeah. But when we use personal markers, we're making time subjective. It becomes about our own experiences, our own individual anticipation. It's like saying, this is how I measure time. And in a way, that makes it more meaningful. It's like we're creating our own internal clocks set to a rhythm that resonates with us personally. Exactly. And it's not limited to individuals either. Cultures around the world have developed unique ways of marking time based on their values and traditions. Some cultures mark time with the moon cycles, others with the harvest. That's a really good point. It makes you think, what does my own personal unit of measurement say about me and how I view time? It's fascinating. This whole idea, it really makes you see those everyday countdowns in a whole new light. It does. Because it reminds us that time isn't just about the ticking clock. It's about those moments, those experiences that we choose to mark and anticipate. It's about finding meaning in the everyday. Yes. It's about finding what makes you stop and say, you know what? I'm really looking forward to that. This whole thing with the manicures, it's such a fun, unexpected example of how we do that. It is. And, you know, it makes you think, what's your personal unit of measurement? How do you mark your own anticipation? Exactly. Keep that in mind as you go about your day. What's your unit of measurement? It's a fun thing to think about. It really is. Thanks for joining us for this deep dive. Until next time.